Hello everybody, Bill Platt here. I just wanted to shoot a real quick video. Uh, Debbie Miller said something about how uh, she was uh, having an issue getting rid of the border around these uh, images. So I just wanted to show you real quick how that's done. It's pretty straightforward. But uh, uh, let me go ahead and I'm, I'm expanding this out. I'm trying to uh, do it in such a way so I don't uh, show you everything on my desktop. So there we go. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab the uh, square. And let me bring that over so you can see what's going on there, what I'm selecting. But just select the uh, uh, rectangular marquee tool. And once you've got that clicked, we'll move that back over here, get out of our working zone. And then what we'll want to do is we'll want to bring it in as big as we can make it, you know, make the image as big as we can possibly make it, and then place our uh, marquee tool right on uh, the particular corner, the inside corner of the image here, and then hold down your mouse. Once you've done that, you just drag to the other corner, and then you can bring your marquee down to where it's inside the uh, uh, black border again and just let go and then your next thing is to use the um, image and let me uh, move that uh, let me move the select box so you can see where I'm going here um, and I can't do it while I'm recording so let me move the software to fit over inside the work zone and once we've done the selection, what we want to do is we want to do the image, and then we want to do, uh, um, let's see, hang on a second. Sorry, I put on pause real quick just to verify that I'm doing the right thing, and uh, I was right the first time. So once we've got the inside area selected, then we want to do image, and then we want to do crop. And what that's going to do, that's going to get rid of the outside border. Then we can do our deselect and zoom it back out and you can see the image without a border on it now. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, just let me know. And where possible, I'll just shoot a quick video to uh, give you the answer.